Hi, in today's video, we're going to be going over how to add your P5 or Z5 camera into your 6 Series MVR. So here we have our 6 Series MVR. We currently already have four cameras added to it. We're going to go ahead and go over here and take a look at the fifth camera. And currently, we have no cameras currently added to our fifth camera. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the right-hand side over here and select camera. And then we're going to select camera number five. Um, camera number five is currently set to auto for camera source, meaning that if we have a camera plugged into port number five in the back of our MVR, it's going to automatically configure the IP address for the camera for us. But for, for this example, we're going to go ahead and change camera source to IP camera. On the right hand side here, we're going to go ahead and select IP scan. By clicking IP scan, it's going to go ahead and pull up all the different cameras on our network. And if you aren't sure which uh, camera is which, you can either log into the IP address of them or you can simply press snapshot right here and it's going to go ahead and load all the different snapshots of the cameras. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just scroll down and then we're going to find the camera that we would like to add. And for this example, we're going to go ahead and add our Z5 camera over here. I'm going to simply double click on it and it's going to go ahead and apply the IP address right here for us. After that, we want to check if we have the correct username as well as password. Alrighty, after you have the correct inf information, go ahead and click apply. Depending on your camera's resolution and streaming settings, you may have to change the primary and secondary uh, streaming settings down here. But after you have uh, the camera's uh, username and password inputted and applied, I'm gonna go ahead and click test right here. And it, it, it was able to pull up the camera's uh, information, which means that it was able to make a connection. If it does say anything like, connection issue, I would make sure to check the connection of the camera by logging into it or seeing if it's uh, connected to the network. If it says authentication error, I would probably check if you have the correct user username or password inputted. But in this situation, um, it was able to make a connection and retrieve the camera's data. So now we're going to go back to stream. We're gonna go ahead and go to camera five. And as you can see, we were able to add our new Z5 camera here. And that concludes uh, this video.